There we go. It says we're live now. We are live. Good evening, everybody. See how many people are out here right now. Let me see. James mm -hmm. Rivera, Andrew Yeaton, Nate38. There's a Yonko out in the comments. Yes. How's hey. everybody doing? And there we go. It, it looks like our feed is good. I just seen it pop up and... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. no. Like we don't have any delay. Million, million times better than what Andrew was dealing with earlier. <laughs> Million times. If anybody notices anything janky, let us know so that way I can immediately um, try to fix it or whatever the case may be. Mr. Eddie Tooney, what are you doing up this late? Would you like to come on, buddy? I'm about to rip into your uh, wonderful cape on here for the first time. I held on. Wow. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to send you an invite whether you want to show up or not. It's up to you. <laughs> there you go. There's an invite out your way if you want to show up for a little bit. And if you want to be present for this. His wife is in bed. Um, I'm just saying, that is one hell of a beauty there, Mr. Tenney. That, that one is pretty. Yeah. Wow. Just gonna have to go buy myself a custom drip tip that matches now. I'll be a happy camper. <laughs> be all matchy matchy. Might even have to throw it on the tree box because I think it would look really nice on there. I don't know. I put it on my my wood skinned uh, Sigeli 150. Be nice. Well, I think it's been sitting for a couple minutes here. Let's give her a good old rip. Oh, holy flavor fucking smack in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the best fucking flavor I've tasted off of anything. Holy shit. Addy Tooney K fun. And it looks good too. God damn. That is Jean Carlo. Fucking amazing. You're having orgasms over there over your flavor tasting. Oh, good God, yes. <laughs> that puts that banana bondage in a whole new light. Holy smokes. <laughs> <sighs> nice, Giancarlo. I was wearing your shirt initially, and TJ told me I couldn't be matchy-matchy with him. Hey, we got to make sure we're covering all of our bases here because uh, Yunkle decided not to wear his own shirt tonight, so his best to no. put it on. I'm I'm missing Giz, so I got to I got to support Giz. Yeah, that's right, Gizzard <laughs> Stew out still out in the mountains of Georgia somewhere. <laughs> and we lost Lisa. Oh. Actually, this worked out very nicely. Way more surprisingly than what I had initially thought because. When I named the name of the show today, I figured to talk about some of the vape fam in the community itself today. And what do I get? We get a special guest today. Mox shows up tonight. Welcome, Mox, to my show. Thank you. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all well. Doing great. Great now that you're here. Aww. Sweet talker. You know how I like it, Yiddy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you buttering her up for? Uh, it's um, it's for uh, off the air. Okay. Hi. <laughs> what are you guys doing in free time? I'm just saying. Do your thing. I know, right? Yeah. Just, just. What, what, what are you saying, me? <laughs> <laughs> are you just trying to get it all in before a thunderstorm whips your ass there? Yeah, I got I got to cram it in before before I lose power. Yeah, you, I guess I should pick my words a little better. Uh, oh man, you didn't even bring the triple stack mod for that one. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. No, just just the duel today. <laughs> hey, at least it's not the twenty six six fifty. It's just the eighteen six fifty. A little safer. Try not to kill yourself one step at a time. <laughs> Dustin Vapor on the house. I vape Australia. Only B eight child. 
Uh, I'm at Australia's Jackie. She is. She's literally waiting for me to get my vape mail from her. I won a waffle for my birthday, and I won this gorgeous, uh, just a single, uh, single bat, um, 75 watt, a liter D box. I just think one of the name of it was. It's gorgeous. It looks like uh, a stab wood or something. It's just a resin. Um, box on the outside, uh, but it matches my hair. It looks like flames, and she's literally waiting for me to get it in my bound box this afternoon. So she's stalking me. And... <laughs> oh, that's why you're up so early, waiting for mail. Uh, actually, no, I'm up so early because I was in um, live chat over on one of Fagan's reviews at stupid o'clock here this morning. Um, <laughs> And heavy, Andrew's been giving me shit about missing his show the last few weeks. So I set my alarm to get up for Heavy's show. And then I remember I had to go to the post office to send Megs her recoil and her dude RDA, which have arrived to me from Ryan. And so I had to get them sent off to her. And look, now I'm here. So I'm like up and I've even been out of the house. Like, shit, shit's real today. <laughs> <laughs> You had the adult today, huh? <laughs> I know. I don't adult of human often, but you know, when I do, I do it well, of course. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Dr. Yeah. Tia Maya in the house. Hello. How's it going? And I did see ODB and G. I didn't just say hello, so G, how you doing, buddy? What's everybody up to tonight? What's new with everybody? Oh, seeing if the cubbies can pull this one out. Hmm. I, my, I told you before we went live, I can't root for the Cubbies. Uh, being a Brewers fan, it's just, it's not in my nature, nor would I feel good about myself rooting for them. The idea behind them winning is cool, but eh. I'm not even going to say go Indians, because to be honest, they don't need two championships in Cleveland in one year. That's just horrible. <laughs> That's a, that would, I'm not sure what that would do to, to Cleveland. But I'm pretty sure there would just be a black hole left where that city used to be if they won two championships in one year. I think the only black hole that they would have is where they blew up the Cleveland Browns stadium since they're the mistake on the way. <laughs> how's, how's the audience doing there? I see everybody out there saying hello. What's everybody up to out there? Let's see here. It's Wednesday night over there, isn't it? Yes. yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow night's Doctor Strange. I'll be a, I'll be a Doctor Strange for the opening. Oh, that's Ooh. right. That is this weekend. That means I probably have it on my jailbroken um, fire stick already. Hmm. I'll just sit down and watch that tonight before I go to bed. Well, or maybe in the morning. I'll have to check check for that myself. I'll tell you, I got buddy. something new. I got my mail yesterday. What it's not. It's not very exciting, but because it's new, it's exciting. If that makes sense. Yes. I got a new six by charger. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So because it's new, is exciting. <laughs> Anything new is always exciting. And oh, I got. I got exactly what I needed. More flavors. <laughs> Oh, is, that the, I, um, is that the is that the uh, bottle of elite I had Dawn P in before she sent? It? <laughs> well, if if that's got P in it, oh my God, that's some that's some gorgeous P. Uh, well, I've, been, I've, been, I've been saying for a while, everything about Dawn is magical. <laughs> that stuff that stuff is freaking heavenly. <clears throat> I swear she cannot make a bad liquid. You know it. I don't know that she's capable of it either. I just, I don't think it's possible. I really don't. I really don't think that's possible at all. You guys are 100% right on that. There's, there's not a damn thing that's come out of that shop there that I have not said that it's phenomenal. It may not be my flavor profile, but it still tastes great. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. There's, she's made some stuff that is not what I would, you know, it's not like in my, my wheelhouse. However, it's good. It's fucking awesome. 
and like the banana bondage I say it all the time I still vape the stuff you know and I, I don't I'm not a fan of bananas I it's fucking good <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just crazy you gotta love that stuff gotta love it that banana bondage is my go-to it really is between that and that hazy custard I have a hard time vaping anything else however I do have to put another new order in because the elite um, I ran out of it didn't even take a week and a half like I figured I would kind of baby that bottle along no it was too fucking good and all I did was running it in my able nothing else I mean I was vaping on everything else all week too but fuck I'll be damned if that stuff lasted me 10 days since I got it <laughs> Yeah, the elite. It's it probably won't make it ten days. No, it was that good. Like I'm, and I don't get a lot of time to vape when I'm at work. That's maybe thirty minutes a day is what I get while I'm there. So like, when I'm coming home, I'm fucking chiefing out the house, making it look like there's a goddamn electrical fire. <laughs> I had someone come up to me the other day um, while I was uh, in the supermarket car park and I was just sort of, you know, sorting out my handbag, putting my receipts away and what have you before I started the car and drove off and um, sitting there having a vape while I was doing this and I did have a old lady, you know, like 70 plus, old, older, elderly, um, come over to me and ask me if my car was alright and if my, it looked like my car was on fire. I just thought to her, honey, I'm like, that's fine. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be all like angry at you because you don't know because you're older. But yeah, cow's fine, honey. We're, we're good. <laughs> that's I reckon really quite a few people would get there often, you know, driving along and vapes pouring out the windows. And, oh my God, the car's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> they do that in the morning, right? When I get to work, I roll the windows up in my truck. And I just make it so I can't see out of the fucking windshield. And then I open up the doors and just watch everything roll out. Because we're not <laughs> supposed to smoke on the company grounds or vape or anything like that. So I was like, well, fuck you guys. I'll just let it come right out of the car. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just up in the nest. I'm driving down the road. And I'm a little bit <gasps> up. We have Lipo Miss Prime in the house. Lipo Miss Prime. This will get fixed on Monday. Leaf a roll out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just saying the other week how it's been a while since this shit got all fucked up. I knew it was just a matter of time. Guy that does nothing but push shit for computers for a living can't get his own shit to work right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look better. at that. He fixed it. <laughs> I think I like Leaf of Miss Prime better. <laughs> um. This shit is getting fixed on Monday. I will have fiber to the door, one other meg up and down. We'll be uh, hosting fog a couple more times here in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Did the fog I'm just go glad well, held up. Yeah, I'm just glad my internet connection kept up the entire time. It was great. Right before my modem rebooted eight times in a row. Right before the show, my my internet company is crap, and the uh, local utilities company is rolling out fiber to everybody's door. And Monday they're coming to hook it up, and from that point I will kiss the old provider goodbye, and I shouldn't have any more issues. Nice, cool, <laughs> Broseph. What's up? Chilling, man. Got out of training. So, how was your beat up session last week? Getting beat up there and combatives, seeing all those bruisers and dings and nicks and. Wasn't bad. Uh, I got a hairline fracture in the palm of my hand, and I got a hairline fracture in my elbow. But other than that, I'm fine. Nice, nice and sore then for a couple of weeks. Not too bad. One dude collapsed his orbital socket. That was kind of funny. Oh. Did you tell him he was supposed to duck when he should have died? No, I told him to quit doing that wrestling shit to me. <laughs> I 
Uh, Dude outweighed what? me by easily 100 pounds. Oh, he was, trying, in, he was trying to lay on top of you and wear you out? Uh, no, he was trying to shoot for a double leg takedown, and they had the gloves on me, so I popped him with an uppercut, and he still kept coming in for another double leg, so I hooked him in a guillotine and just smashed his face into the mat. Oh. <laughs> Oh, fucking DDT. <laughs> I'm bad. pretty sure I heard my inner JR start screaming. I think I think I did that to I think I did that to, to Adam once. To Malcolm. Like he went he went for something and I and I caught him and I was just like Well, this is happening. <laughs> Must have been one of those wonderful nights out under the gazebo. Uh, yes, of course. Of course, was there any other? I don't think so. Shit. Good. I remember one time he told me that I couldn't choke him out. Like, I, I could use anything, but I couldn't use a choke on him. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too much liberty. Yep. Like, okay, I, I just can't choke you. Okay. <laughs> About, 10, about 15 seconds later, he's in an arm bar. Like, what? <laughs> I have fake <fight> mail! <laughs> Uh-oh. That was oh, delivered yeah. straight to our desk, too. Oh, uh, <laughs> my flatmate just got home, so I just got in to go and check the mail for me because um, I got a message from Jackie from iVape out there saying that it was in my letterbox. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. Come on. Yeah, she Come ran on. out to open it on the show. She wanted me to jump on Zoom with her and, and like, open it live with her in Australia. Am I allowed to open it on the show? Yes. <laughs> yeah, no oh. You know well, it's going to be a good day. Uh, <laughs> got vape mail. Shit, yeah. It's a good, good day. Hmm. She says it's okay. Open it. Uh, hey, I'm just missing the habit. Sweet, sweet. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm ripping into this. A live mox unboxing. That's so what it is. Oh my god! Yay for day mail. Sorry, it just makes noise for a sec. <sighs> Ooh. Mox getting savage with it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Here, let's let's just present you so that way you can show everybody. Oh, here's the box. <laughs> Hang on, alrighty, it's let's. Can someone pass me a knife, please? <laughs> Jackie, you oh, sealed this up really good. Yeah, this is a little bit. <laughs> G with the live unboxing. The live unboxing. Hey, hey now, you boys, you wish. <laughs> That's a completely different kind of live show, everybody. I, yeah, I really think it is. They wanted that live show this morning when I was in the chat on Fagan's review and I was lying in bed. Oh my god, Jackie. Ooh, ooh. Hey, stickers. Cool, okay. So, first, sitting on the top, Mox is live unboxing. <laughs> I got some stickers. Nice. It's always cool when there's stickers I don't have to add to my wall as well. Okay, right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. There is my addiction. This this is my crack right here. Sugar baby from Jackie that I talk about all the time. <laughs> Yum. I believe I have several bottoms of it in this box. <laughs> oh, these... These are the, like, greatest things and the worst things at the same time. The packing peanuts. They get everywhere. That's the fun part. You just throw them everywhere in the room and you'll be finding them for the next month. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Finding them for the next month. 
You mean those aren't white cheddar Cheetos? <laughs> well, they could be. I'd hate to think about how your um, stomach would feel about that later when oh, trying to digest oh. them. But, you know, yeah. you can eat them if you want, darling. I got plenty of fiber. Oh, get Cheeto puff, get the Cheeto puffs, and, and line a box with them. Oh, I totally want to do that to somebody now. <laughs> okay, I have three bottles of Sugar Baby. I have a bottle of Sour Fruit Drops, which is Jackie's um, rendition of like Skittles. And I have a new flavor of hers that she's just released, and I'm one of the first Kiwis to try some out. This is Bliss. So this is a new flavor being released. And um, Jackie, please put out in the chat box the profile for this one. I can't actually remember it right there. It's, it's handy. It's right up my alley, which is why she sent it to me. And I really like this label. It's really well done. Jackie makes all their own labels for their um, all their juices. Oh, and I got some lollies in there. Okay, now to the mod. What do you think this mod? Ah. You got to define lollies because that's really different where I'm at. Oh, okay. Um, defining lollies. Bag bag of candy. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because in Japan, that means something completely different. You definitely don't want those in the bag. Okay. I'm not even sure I want to know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the same. Um, Google it, chat. <laughs> Let's sorry, take just, reading, just reading that chat box out there. Um, okay, wow, it's tiny. I didn't expect it to be so small. So, this is my new D box. Hang on, let me one side of it. Mm. So, you see what I mean? How it's like got that stab wood type effect, but it's just like cool acrylic ribbon. Fucking pretty. And then spin around, so we've got a curved on the end where the, the hand holds. Oh, my hand looks really big there. And then the other side's just like a slightly perklier variation. It makes me think of flames. So like when my hair is a fresh red, oh my god, it's gonna match me so good. This is my birthday one. It's gorgeous. Um, to put this in, well, here's the fly button. Okay, so it sits like that in my hand. Ah, camera. It sits like that in my hand. Five buttons up here. So for a size comparison, just keep in mind this is a single battery mod. It is little. Who's the maker of that mod? Um, a leader. Our, yeah, a leader. It's an Asian company. It's from from Shenzhen. Um, this is an authentic, an authentic Asian mod. <laughs> uh, that is the brand name right there. <laughs> <laughs> And there's also, if you Google that, you can also find out about the 75 watt chip that's in it. And um, yeah, this is called the D box. Nah. Okay, here we go. Hey, that's cool. I've got the D. I got the D for my birthday. <laughs> oh, I got a matching drum. Ooh, hey, that's pretty. Oh, that's so not going to focus. I got a cool little, it's not quite the same colors, but I got a cool little awesome colored drip tip as well. For a second there, I thought that was an RDA. I was like, that's a really small RDA. <laughs> that would be a really small RDA, yeah. Okay, so, ooh, exciting. I have... <laughs> Put my own batteries in this turkey because I've got a battery charge ready to go. I've been waiting for this. She expressed it to me from Australia, even. This is one of them ones that's got a screw holding the battery case down. Everybody get fingernails, they're a great screwdriver. <laughs> 
get that thing set up, ready to go, let us know. Yep. And cool. there we go. Oh, my narration job was just going to take a. It was going to take a terrible turn. I was I was catching that the way you guys are narrating things. I was like, "What are you guys actually narrating?" Yunko, um, Yunko popped a coil, so I was uh, I was going ahead and uh, narrating what was going on with Yunko while Mox was presented, since they couldn't see him. And I do see that um, Greg Paschek's in the house. Just said that uh, Heavy just finished up. Glad that I didn't wait tonight, or otherwise this show would have went really fucking long, or it would have been really short. One of the two. Huh. <laughs> Probably really short because I'm still gonna go to bed at a reasonable hour, considering I'd be up at the butt ass crack of dawn. As you can see, everyone, Yunkel has gotten the fire out. He has gotten the fire out. His children are no longer on fire, although there he was saying terrible things about gingers there while he was hitting them with the stack mop. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a close one, guys. That was close. Yeah, it was. It was pretty bad. That wall back in the background of Yunkel's place, that was white before this started. Before this started. So you can see how quickly the flames spread. <laughs> Luckily, I have I have enough Adore e-liquid on hand enough to, to douse the flames. <laughs> I mean, that'd be Actually, a waste I, of I would just, Yeah, I would just let it burn, though. I would never do that. Don't waste the liquid gold. I would let it burn and just smile while I'm vaping. His, ki his kids on fire in the background. He's pouring bottles of a door, trying to get the trying to get the vapor off of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. Figure out which way my battery goes up. Before I forget today, I do want to thank Timmers. Um, he sent me a message over on my vaporium the other day. And they added me over to the schedule of live shows over on my Vaporium. So if you remember, you'll see mine on the scheduled list over there. Um, 10 30 Eastern Time, um, 9 30 Central, 7 30 out West. Right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Kennedy and New Zealand. What up, Sasha? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you, you and your Seahawks that. reviews. <laughs> We should get her on here. We should get Sasha on here. Does Sasha, Sasha want to come on? If Sasha wants to come on, I can bring Sasha on. Or yeah, he, everybody, everybody, throw. Let's let's pick a color for Timmers. What color? What color heart should we give Timmers? What do we got? What do we got? So I'm seeing a blue one, a green one, a yellow one. Green, green, green. Sounds green heart. Green heart, green heart for Timmers, everybody. Throw some love out at Timmers. Timmers is Timmers is an awesome, awesome, awesome cat. Yeah, he is. Everybody, throw a little love at Timmers. There you go. Turn that screen green for the Timmers. Timmers, my thanks to you. Hats off. Now it's back on. Oh, John Carlo, blue and green. He wasn't sure what he was gonna do. Gee, where you get that Jim's little like Jim's on the heart. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys didn't know, James Rivera is the Grinch. He is going to steal Christmas, but we do have the potential for his heart to grow three sizes that day. <laughs> Base, the basis of what I did want to talk about tonight was just a vape thing fam and the community as a whole um just some things i do want to touch on this community has been fucking phenomenal and just over the course of what am i is this what week 26 of live shows now um this has come a long way from just all eight of us viewing the live show in on the live stream at the same time to <laughs> <laughs> uh, steadily hitting around 40, getting closer to 50 viewers a week, considering I don't even have 200 subs. You guys are fucking phenomenal, because that tells me at least half a quarter of my subs here are showing up to hang out with us every Wednesday. Oh, well, Wednesday here, what? You're Thursday over there, right, Mox? Quinn? Yeah, so we're we Thursday. started at 3.30 here. Started at noon. Well, like 11. <laughs> So those of you who are in Japan, now you know what time it is in Japan when my show starts. 
Um, I don't think I have any Japanese viewers, though. Um, if I do, Horigato. Hi. Horigato <laughs> On other note, I want to thank each and every one of you who showed up today. Mox, thanks for showing up again. Been a while since I've had you on the show. Uh, glad to have you. Yeah, oh, no, nah, I miss you guys. That's why I thought I'd come hang. Oh, yeah. For and Quinn, I'm always yep. glad to have you, bro. It's good to see you, even though. <laughs> In and out, depending on work schedule, you manage to sneak it in on your lunch break. So I appreciate that. And well, it's a good chance to have face to face with you, even if we don't get to chat a whole lot while we're on here. You guys made me come to where I where I'm at. So my hats off to you and the entire community. And fuck everything that I see is doing the right things here through the people in this portion of the community that I'm dealing with on a regular. You guys are fucking awesome. Educating, advocating, doing all the right things. Hell, the hashtag CP4R to be. Pay attention to it on Instagram. There's going to be another apple there, and all those proceeds are going to be going to the right to be smoke free campaign there. So, it's going attention. to be awesome. It is. If you're not paying attention on Instagram to that, you really need to be because holy fuck, the <laughs> things that are coming out that way. Those just, if that doesn't make you want to buy our Apple ticket, I don't know what will. It, it, hell, if it doesn't make you want to buy it, let me know and I'll buy your Apple ticket for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Quinn, I got a tracking number for you. I'll give you. I'll shoot you a message Ooh. later. Speaking, oh. speaking of doing the right things for the community, uh, I've been getting myself in the habit of being lazy while I vape and doing the wrong thing. I uh, didn't want to change my coils out since I've been using the super sweet juice lately. And uh, found a little blog post. I don't know if anybody else has tried this or vetted that it's a bad idea, but it's worked for me a couple times. Didn't want to change my coils out. Got super gunked up. So I got them out, fired them until they got red hot, and dipped them in like a little Petri dish of water so that all the carbon yep. just, whoo, pops off them. Wonderful, wonderful tip. Wish I'd have known that months ago. Yep, you just re-anodize the metal. That's it. Oh. I do it with the stainless steel all the time. It's probably why my Eddie coils last forever because I refuse to change them as well because they're too pretty. I'd say not to mention now my coils get this wonderful, pretty rainbow of blue and purples in it. I'm pretty sure that means I need to change them, but they look nice, so I don't want to. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> You don't have to change them if they get that color. That's no, that's that's how that's, it's supposed to be. That's when you take a picture <laughs> and you go, Ooh, oh, look at it. I missed an Instagram moment, but I really do have to change these ones because uh, yeah, there there's a trick to that rainbow effect, but we'll we'll wait for a coil show for all that nonsense. But <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to do one of these one of those one of these this coming weeks coming up here because. Yeah, it's 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 simple. It's just it's just an extra step you got to do, you know. But it's easy. I'm just saying, you know, there's <laughs> so many to play with. <laughs> oh, one, of our, uh, one of our gate guards actually started advocating for uh, vaping here in Japan to get some leniency on how they use liquid nicotine, and uh, he's at least trying to advocate it for the Okinawa Prefecture, which I think is kind of cool. It's just going to open up the businesses for not just the Japanese populace, but more for the American populace as well. well that'd be good. Start making uh, petitions to the governor. Being as I'm not watching the Cubs World Series game, anybody got an update on score and inning? Not it's still 6 3. Still 6 3. <laughs> okay. Good enough. <laughs> Got it. Are there many vapors walking down the street in Japan? Uh, depends on their ethnicity. Uh, if they're American, or at least half American, yeah, there's quite a few of them. But 100% uh, Japanese people or people that have been born and raised in Japan, for the most part, don't vape. Just because it's not accessible to the normal populace, at least not with nicotine in it. 
So it's not a substitute for smoking. It's more of a hobby thing if regular Japanese people are into it. Interesting. They have the um, something I talked about a couple, almost a couple months ago now. Uh, the Iquas by Marlboro. Yeah. That's the closest thing that regular Japanese people get to vaping, and it's not. I wound up trying one myself shortly after we talked about it, and it's awful. It's awful? It's so bad. The taste it's is like, just it's so bad, But it's so popular. It is stupid popular. Is, is like, that that thing that heats up the tobacco, the one that Fresh was talking about the other day? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know they have like, like over in Japan, they have their own like sections for people to go and use that thing. Like just its own yeah. section. It's like um, they had one. It's the largest. I think it's the second largest mall in Japan is down in Okinawa now at the Raikon Mall. And they had a big like exposition for those being a substitute for smoking yep. at the mall like a week or two ago. And they were spouting off like some of the health benefits and shit. I'm like, but it doesn't change anything. That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much just sit this thing on the end of a lighter, and that's it. That's all you're doing. Yep. Yep. Greg, pass check. I want to say kudos. That is probably one of the best pimping lines I've seen for that. That is fucking outstanding. Maybe I don't pay attention enough or I miss it before when you put it out there. That's outstanding. Well done, sir. In in other vaping news, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off there, but um, we recently had a couple of persons from other services get themselves removed from these services by finding this wonderful thing called THC e-liquid. So if any of you live in a state where you have your green card and are available to access THC e-liquid, Understand that that is a thing, and if you need brand names and or good flavors, I have some friends that are hookups. They're civilians now, so they can tell you where they get it. <laughs> <laughs> Got that good old boot. <laughs> Not the kind of boots they want. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it. I did see some other people sneak in. I saw... I see lies out there, or as fresh as you I see us. I see you, I see us. Beauty and the vape out there. Totally, I see lies. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just a second, guys. Christine, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate it. Thank you Quit very much. Ass, uncle. Jesus Christ, the uncle. If you. If you knew what she just did, you'd be kissing her ass, too. <laughs> well, you seem to be just kissing all the ladies' asses tonight. That's all I'm saying. Hey. You know, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so, go ahead. Open oh, that good. door so we can walk right through it. No, my kids are awake. I'm going to be good. <laughs> Luckily, they're not on fire anymore, so I think they're... <laughs> well, one's awake. The other one's still twitching. What are you talking about? Okay. Earmuffs, right? That's all you guys say is earmuffs. You say whatever you want. Shit, cock piss. <laughs> I don't know. Making me happy camp. This this is a fun little get together. I'm enjoying this. Heck yeah. And Clint, super good of dunking it and whatever, but you can just retemper your coil and it burns the carbon off as well, which is exactly what I'm doing now on my coil and the goon. While I'm thinking about it, shout out to Don and this blueberry stuff. This is fucking great. I can't wait till that hits shelf. Balls hold what? Don is making blueberry stuff? Yep. Not on the shelf yet, but it, it's coming. I do know it's coming. I just don't know when. It is fabulous. That would be that would be that would be this bottle right here, Quinn. <laughs> Hang on, I looked away. What was that? <laughs> You're all cocksuckers. I hate you all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, right, I don't have any either, so it's okay, honey. You're not alone. I got a uh, a question mark bottle today as well. I was, yeah, I was. Was rather, it? Huh? 
Was it list? Was it listed on your sheet as uh, BS? Uh, I didn't. I had a custom made uh, packing <laughs> slip. Oh, all right, <laughs> Quinn. I don't know if you can read this. Uh, would, well, it'd help if I had it in front of the camera. Oh nope, you can't. It looks like shit because my camera's garbage. Um, it's also, in your package, so it's on its way to you currently. Got it. I'll shoot you that stuff after we get done here. Can you shoot me your YouTube link? Because your fucking YouTube channel does not come up anytime I search for you. Are you just go to youtube.com slash golf t vapes and you're there. I did, and it doesn't come up. Stupid <laughs> Japanese shit. <laughs> it's not have available you in your notifi- region. Have you got notifications turned on for this channel? Yeah. Um, there's something about international shows, uh, like yours, Mox, that doesn't show up until you go live. Really? Like I can't, yeah, yep. I cannot get to your shows until they go live. Yep, my the is. last three have been scheduled events that could, that's the first time I started doing scheduling. Even when they're, even when they're even, scheduled. Yeah, even wow. still. The last three. Yep, I, I have the same problem. I can't see yours until they go live either. Granted, I don't get a chance to sit in on a lot of live shows. Most of the time, I end up just watching replays, but, you know. Well, for the rest of the year, I'm on a Sunday, TJ. Sunday night. Yep, 6-6. Six, six. Son of Next a bitch. Year. Sunday night. We got a real ball game here. Yeah, Sunday nights. Um, it's 10 p.m. Central, 11 p.m. Um, Eastern. And next year, uh, in the new year, the day will, day and time will change, because um, we're going to be, uh, be using a nine to five hours and what have you, um, focusing on the core biz. So, uh, yeah, that will change in the new year. But for the rest of the year, it's, it's staying Mox, Sunday night. I don't, don't mean to cut you off there, Mox. I don't know if you're paying attention in the chat. She said, "Do not do the bliss until she's face to face with you, please." Sweet. Yeah, you so know I'm about to hit sugar, baby, honey. I miss that shit. I've been out for like three days. <laughs> I've just, I've just had to totally was retempering that because that cotton was gross. I need to change cotton. All right. Just a second. I got to change the channel on TV. If it's 6-6, six, six, I do want to be able to peek over once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> guys are killing me. This is going to sound really dumb. I can't change my water jet. I've got to read this book properly. It's going to sound really dumb because, yeah, it's got up and down buttons. But changing my up and down doesn't change my wattage. It's changing the mode and the feature that it's in and going through tint control. <laughs> that thing's gorgeous, though. Yeah, it is. If, if nothing else, it's pretty as shit. <laughs> it's perfect mox hand size. It's like perfect. All right, hang on. All right, get my shit together. Let's get a wick in. Let's fucking vape this baby. It, that one almost <laughs> looks like an M17. I know it or does. I, I can pretend I've got. It's an authentic of what it is, but I'll pretend it's an M17. <laughs> <laughs> Girls gotta have dreams, you know. <laughs> The only bad thing about this M17, the dual, or excuse me, the single, uh, the single 26650 ones, is they have that DNA 75 on there. So you got to watch out what you put on for a build. Otherwise, you're going to get low battery after a couple of hits. Oh, okay. Good to know. This isn't a DNA chip. Um, it's like its own Alita chip. Uh, I Googled it the other day and I'm totally drawing a blank as I need the information right now. Um, it's not a Yehi, it's not a DNA. So I just, I guess I've just got to roll and see how this particular chip rides and what quirks it might have. Because I'm not aware of anybody that I know that has this particular brand model either. So it's a new chip to, um, to me, definitely. Yeah, with that, with that DNA 75, if you go above... I think it's 5.9 watts. That's when you'll get the low battery. So you gotta keep, excuse me, 5.9 volts. So you gotta keep it below that. Okay. 
This is reading four volts, but it's 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 stuck on forty four point seven watts as well. I can't even take it up to fifty watts right this second. <laughs> Gotta read that wee book. It's got actually quite a lot of instructions in there in that wee book. I'll say this again, Addie Tooney, you're my fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> Those orgasms still going, TJ? Yeah, this is going to be a non-stopper. A <laughs> gusher. Gusher! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the cleanup job here is going to be fucking a nightmare later. <laughs> oh, it's walking. Day full. Occasionally, you got to have a gusher there, TJ. You know, you just can't <laughs> run from it. Old lady's gonna walk into the house and ask me what the fuck happened in here. <laughs> yes. I had a good Has time. <laughs> Gee, that's exactly right. Hashtag Team Addy Tooney K Fine. I taken a rip off of three different mods and I've got like five sitting in front of me today. <laughs> and most of it has come off of this Addy Tune K fun that I'm just ripping away at. <laughs> now TJ, the other secret is when you get when you start getting down towards the bottom of that clear section, it's time to refill. You don't want to let it get too awful low. On it. I don't think this thing's ever gonna see um anything near empty. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of your helix coils might fit in this uh, this uh, falcon. Oh, right on. Nice. I just got through making a, a big batch of helix today, as a matter of fact. Mox, five presses to get into the settings. Yeah, I'll, um, I did briefly read it. Hey, I'm lucky I generically know five presses will turn it on, so... <laughs> I'm not too worried about the wattage right now. I just want to get a, a vape happening because it's, a, you know, retempering that coil. It's at least firing it, and the ramp up's not too long. So, shit, nope. if it's going to fire a, uh, what was it, a point one six coil on my goon, then um, she's all good at 44 watts if that'll fire. So, sweet. Well, it just takes a little dirty talk to get me turned on. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, you, you live in a cave. You're you're in filth all the time, darling. <laughs> so it's like me in my apartment in the gutter, you know. <laughs> it don't take much. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, um, side is always going to turn everybody on. All right. <laughs> Greg, you've really started, got to stop flattering me while I'm on a show. <laughs> <laughs> I think Greg's got a wee crush on me. Don't you deny it either. <laughs> I don't think he'll deny that. He'll probably take it and run. <laughs> I was getting middle of the night messages from him the other day. Bravo. <laughs> no, no, he's actually... Um, I'm not sure how much I can divulge. He's being that little uh, birdie whispering in the ears, trying to get me some hookups in the States. So, um, it, it, and I did not ask him to do such things. So it's been really awesome. When I get a message from him, I'm all excited now. In the right ways, Greg. <laughs> I think Greg does everything in the right ways from what it's been my notice of. All right. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I missed that smell. <laughs> uh oh. It's the it's that feeling when I opened that first fresh bottle of strawberry submission from Dawn that I ever got. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so sugar babies like 
I, I don't know brand names of uh, lollies, candy, uh, bubble gums and things that you guys have got in the States, but this is a nostalgic memory for me. Uh, that tastes like a cross between two oh. different flavoured Hubba Bubba bubble gums from when I was a kid. Um, it's like a cross between original pink and with a smidge of the grape layer bubble gum in there. It's, oh, it's just, I'm, I'm a candy addict, man. It's fucking divine. Okay. Jax is in the house. What's up, Jack? What up, Jax? Jax is throwing arrow hearts at some point. <laughs> Jesus! There's not even 45 watts. That was a decent cloud. Did you guys see that? That I did. Yeah. Sexy <laughs> <laughs> God, that thing is fucking gorgeous, man. Yeah. Hey, Gay uh, for life, mate, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yeti, have you figured out what Mox had for breakfast yet? <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> I don't want to say what the answer is to this one. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm pleading the fifth. Um, okay. It doesn't mean you don't know. Ken in the house, Johnny. Oh, Bings, we got a little bit of dead silence there. Does anybody have any sort of subjects they'd like to talk about tonight? Any, anything at all? Doesn't matter what it is, even even if it falls under the vape fam community, whatever. Have you heard about the latest? What's going on over here? What is new in New Zealand there? Um, I mentioned it a couple times recently, uh, just trying to think of dates, about two weeks, two and a half weeks ago, um, our Ministry of Health sent out a document to all of the health workers across the country, doctors, nurses, um, anyone who deals with patients or clients and anyone who has uh, stopped smoking conversations with you in a medical capacity. Um, it is now, to cut the document really short, um, you know, long story short, the, it is now recognised in New Zealand that if you state you are a vapor, you are officially marked as an ex-smoker now. Nice. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, so the document just goes into breakdowns of what vaping is and e-cigarettes and different generations and what have you to give those who are uninformed uh, in, in the health sector a at least a smidge of an understanding so they can actually have a conversation with people and options and what have you. And by no means is it being recognised as a cessation device. It is not coming under Medi medical act, anything like that. This is just one step that they are recognising it as our ministry, our ministry of health, that you are a ex-smoker. So yeah, that's, that's, you know, all those little steps eh, for the bigger walk. Progression is real. That's awesome. Yeah. That is spectacular. Perfect. A step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah. That's cool. Oh hell yeah. And that'll that'll just keep progressing. And, you know, the more information that gets out there, because um, we we've, we've still got the legislation. Sorry, it isn't actually a legislation yet. The application for the legislation to legalise our NIC at retail level. That, that'll be sitting in Parliament under consultation and research stages for a few months yet. So little steps like this that the Ministry of Health are putting out publicly, those are definitely great steps towards that legislation being passed for us. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, God damn. Pissing me off that I see everybody else moving in the right direction except for the United States. 
I feel so much frustration for you guys in that exact regard too. I didn't. The fire wasn't that hot, you little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> God's I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all, little sons of bitches. <laughs> He's going fisticuffs. Put up your dukes. I ain't got no dukes. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, anybody need a good kid? Mm, I'm gonna pass on that one. One's enough for me right now. It's already house trained. Does it wipe its own ass? <laughs> Yunkle, it's Yunkle, Yunkle, it's pooping outside the box right now. You're trying to fool us. You're trying to give us. A <laughs> <laughs> does, does the treadmill come with it? Hell no. <laughs> Unless you want to wire it to your place so that you can keep them on the treadmill and keep keep my power going. Oh, well. Oh well. You're running a lot of yeah. cable between there. I'm just saying that's a pretty big bill. <laughs> I, I I live in areas where power failures happen all the time. My house is backwired. All I have to do is flip a switch, plug in the generator, and I got power to the whole house. That's that's the way it is here. It's like I was saying earlier. You know, this place is so old. I'm sure if we even had a brand new generator rigged up and wired with today's technology, you know, it still would probably find a way to shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Time for an upgrade there. Yeah, it's time to move. What are you talking about? This whole town needs to be nuked. That's hey, that's this an is, upgrade of sorts. This this is one of those towns that is so ingrained in its old schoolness. They still roll up the sidewalks at nine o'clock at night. There's nothing. Nothing is open past like six, seven o'clock. Nothing. I mean, you got you got two convenience stores in Walmart. That's it. <laughs> How many people in your town, Eddie? Uh, more than I care to know about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't leave the house enough to know. <laughs> it's, it just sounds like, you know, a relatively small, maybe not a village, but a small township by shops not staying open past seven or anything like that. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a small city. I mean, it's, a, it's just a small college town. You know, it's oh, that's why you don't want to know anybody. A bunch of drunk twenty-one year olds. Mm. <laughs> bunch of drunk rednecks, more like it. <laughs> no. It's far more yeah. exciting being um a drunk thirty five year old, I must say. Now here's the real test on how small the town is. Are there more bars than churches? <laughs> Actually no. It's not small enough then. <laughs> <laughs> the, all the for some reason all the all the bars on are on the outskirts of the periphery of the city. Do you live and in that city that was in uh, the Footloose? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get to the female to go and have a dance. Just to go dance. <laughs> yeah, Jack Jack knows what's up. <laughs> Uh, you gonna pull faces at me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a girlfriend rolling around behind my computer monitor, and she's just like, <laughs> "You're live." <laughs> <laughs> Four bars to one church. I've been in towns like that. Actually, the town my father was grew up in, they have six bars, two churches, and one school that's K through 12. There you go. Itty bitty fucking town. You blink, you'll miss it. Hmm. Home's, home's not that much of an upgrade from that. Let's be real, DJ. We, we have, what, two schools? Yeah, some fucking tiny like that. That's <laughs> it. I moved away from there. I don't know why I'm still in Wisconsin, though, other than I love the Packers. Other than that, I have no fucking reason to be here. <laughs> I hate the fucking snow, and that's coming here in probably, oh, another month, if we're lucky. You think it's going to wait that long? Optimist. Yeah. Milwaukee, a bar on every corner. That's about it, too. 
Uh, that nails it right down to it, Mark. So my town that's closest to me, which is about 10, 15 minutes that way, is um, I think, I don't even think we've got two bars or there might be only two bars. But the churches, I can't even give you a number. <laughs> Well, me and TJ live just outside of the uh, highest per capita church city in the United States. That would be Leesville, Louisiana. Oh, Jesus, fuck. That was the goddamn, that's the epitome of the Bible Belt right there. There was a, there was a, there was three churches for every block. It was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's like, there's not like eight of the ten churches. Are there even enough people to go to these churches? No, no. I say that's how you know the community's divided when they need more churches than they have bars. Well, there were plenty of bars too, but not not <laughs> nearly as many as there were churches. No, going uh, what a half hour, about forty five minutes in north of there. There is still more churches than bars, and the city was twice as big. Uh, up in Alexandria. They had still more churches than fucking bars. Although oh, yeah. there were bars right next door to churches, which was kind of glorious up there. <laughs> Actually, where the Super Jew got married at, it was like two blocks away from Finnegan's Wake. Nice. nice. I'm was sorry, did you say the Super Jew? Yes, I did super. say the Super Jew. Here I ask, <laughs> what, what is? Or whom it is Super Jew? The Super Jew would be a one, um, Mr. Adam Malcolm. He's a guy that we were in the army with. Only Jew I've ever met in my life that um, was not really Jewish. Yeah. I had a drummer that was like that. He, he was. Mr. He was. Because you made him eat a cheeseburger pizza does not make him not Jewish. No, that wasn't <laughs> even a cheeseburger pizza. I talked him into a, let's say a barbecued chicken pizza from Papa John's one night. Didn't know there was bacon on there, and he was shit faced drunk. Ate a slice of it. After he found out there was bacon on it, puked everywhere. Fucking glorious. <laughs> My flatmate that lives out in the house bus, the old guy that you guys, a few of you guys have met and stuff, um, he's yeah. Jewish. And pork is his favorite food. <laughs> but, but like I said, this is the same concept. Uh, guy was, he wasn't, um, wasn't really Jew, he was just Jew ish. <laughs> so, something going on in the bloodline you know <laughs> that's when I'm like you know you're just going to be called the super Jew in my opinion so it's always the super Jew awesome <laughs> I had cool. I had a drummer that he even had a star of David that he wore like he never took it off and I was I asked him about it you know I was like I was like why do you because he was like really anti you know any religion you know he was he was anti-organized religion i should say Not sure about and, I like, and i was like why are you wearing a, a star of david he was like well you know it's it's because i'm a jew and i'm like oh okay well i didn't know that you were i thought you were not a religious person he was like well i'm, I'm jewish by blood you know I, I'm, I'm not i'm not a religious jew i'm like but you're adopted and you don't know who your parents are your biological parents are. So how can you claim the church? <laughs> and he gave me some bullshit, and he was trying to say that his his adopted mother knew knew that his mother was a Jew and all this. So it's like he just heard a like a murmuring that he was a Jew and just kind of ran with it. You know, it was just it was just kind of funny. So we always tease him about being the the, the Jew. The, Jewish drummer. That's why I said not really a Jew, just Jewish. Just Jewish. <laughs> oh. Although I can say that was probably one of the craziest weddings I've ever been in in my entire life. A Jew marrying a Baptist. Some weird <laughs> shit going on there, let me tell you what. That's bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> oh, boy. Ah, uh, puns. <laughs> Getting out of the dad jokes now. Preparing. Oh, oh, preparing. Dude, I'm telling you, don't be like George Bush. No when to pull out. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? 
I could waste ten years of my life doing something that's going to get me nowhere except back where I started. <laughs> <laughs> About it too. <laughs> I found the CDs. <laughs> oh. I did see the saline thing making its round this week. Um, after you guys had talked about it the other week, there about adding saline from oh, what's his damn name? Charlie Noble. Charlie Noble. Charlie. There you go. Yeah. See, everybody's been talking about it. Where can they get saline to start adding to their DIYs and all of that? Amazon. I'll be, I'll be toying with it tonight. I will be doing a specific mix for it on Saturday. Yeah, yeah I'm making I'm making a test batch with one of my uh, one of my DIYs that I make all the time. I'm making one you know, the way I normally make it, and then making one with with the saline to compare the two, so that they're exact. You know, they have the exact steep time and everything. Whew. Well, that's good to know. Does it? Does that affect steep time at all? Did you guys read on that blog at all whether it affects the steep time when you add the saline? It does not. It it it's a it's basically a flavor additive. Yeah. Basically, is what it comes down to. Um, it'll make certain flavors pop, and um, if you need your vape to get a little bit salty, you can do that. But does basically, that mean you'll have chocolate pretzel flavored juice coming in soon? Yes. <laughs> It's in theory. In theory. Ooh, fresh, you still have that you still have that peanut flavor. You could do a salted nut roll. I already did a salted nut roll. I did marsh I did oh, marshmallow okay. vanilla cream and but I mean it would definitely get saltier. Yeah. Probably be good to toss in like a salted caramel or something like that, or just want that extra little bit of saltiness out of the caramel. We can make uh, we can make Shane kind of cringe a little. We can make a salted caramel mocha, <laughs> just as bad as the pumpkin spice latte. Whoa now! <laughs> Don't you insult my friend pumpkin spice. Speaking of which, <laughs> Starbucks Japan, completely unrelated to vaping, has a gingerbread <laughs> frappuccino that I'm trying after work. Oof. Not a gingerbread fan. Couldn't do it. It's going to be so good. Gingerbread Frappuccino? That actually does sound pretty solid. It's going to be glorious. They don't do pumpkin spice here. I seen a really bad meme the other day to do with pumpkin spice. I think I saved it. Hang on, I'll just look for it. Um, uh, pumpkin spice flavored condoms for the white girls. Something like this. Yeah, hang on. I'll just find this meme. It was hilarious. Really simple, well thought out. Nice little meme of um, Jurex, you know, the brand Jurex uh, condoms. And its flavor of the condom was pumpkin spice. Do they oh only sell it during the fall? I have too many memes. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if it's a real product. Just, you know, one of the memes. <laughs> that might be the hot ticket if they only sold it during the fall. <laughs> only available in the Halloween season. Time to start marketing that shit. <laughs> All right, so this... This falcon is not quite as big a pain in the ass as I thought it was going to be. Not quite. Is it a blue falcon? The blue falcon <laughs> atomizer. Oh, I need to. I, I need to send one of these to Addy Tooney so he can torch it for me to blue. <laughs> the buddy fucker atomizer. Oh yes. And then and then send it to the first person that fucks you over. That's right. <laughs> Have an atomizer on me, oh, sucker. <laughs> not, not even tell him what it's about. Uh, I, I found the thing. It says picking up white girls just got easier. That's Jurek's condom, condom with the pumpkin spice. 
Picking up white girls <laughs> just got easier. There's some truth to that. <laughs> a lot of Maybe truth. it is for marketing needed, definitely. It's got a pumpkin on the condom wrapper, even. <laughs> for those Halloween sex nights, I guess. I don't know. Well, speaking of that, you got the uh, vaping swag, Harvest Moon. Just vape that around the women, and uh, they may come, come and TJ's got some right there. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it right there. Oh, oh, is that pumpkin spice? Here they come. You better get a fucking stick ready to beat them bitches off with. <laughs> the thirst is real. <laughs> And if I have offended anybody for that comment, too fucking bad. <laughs> like I think I offend somebody every second word out of my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> they don't like it. I guess they could suck a dick, preferably one that's um, pumpkin spice flavored. Pumpkin. <laughs> you can suck a pumpkin spice cock. What? Yeah. <laughs> but what? What if I like that? I oh, will off you go then, girl. <laughs> They're just oh. looking for the cream cheese filling. Oh. <laughs> Savage. Cream cheese, not fresh cream. <laughs> Poor hydration will do that to you. Oh, yeah, this is very true. This is very true. Got to keep your hydration up, boys. <laughs> and add some cinnamon in your life with that pumpkin spice. <laughs> Great pineapple juice. You so you're saying garlic is not the way to go? No. No, honey. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Garlic is good, but you want to counteract that with a little, yeah, uh, pineapple juice or some cinnamon in your diet as well if you're going to go high on the garlic. <laughs> Be kind to your woman. Seriously. <laughs> like yeah. advice from the box. Like. I, oh, yeah. I think I've got what you need there, Vape With Me. We'll just send you the inaugural box of those condoms. I'll make sure Mox gets those out in the mail to you the second we get a full line of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Poor Roro. Happy birthday, Roro. Roro, you just want to come Sorry. get one. Go wasted with me, and we'll, we'll run around with the pumpkin spice condoms like the balloons go. So I'm up with water balloons and make a day out of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> if, feeling, if, feel, if you're feeling giddy, you could probably steep your coffee in them. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. They're just water balloons of coffee. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine that visual: walking down the street, and you're like, you got a couple of girls, and they're just swinging these giant, blown-up condoms full of coffee. Just on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're swinging nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Fucking what now? Coffee chucks. Whoa, get my pumpkin spice on your ass. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to I was waiting for him to take his headphones. Did you see me light up? Yeah. <laughs> he himself. I'm just like, what do we got going on, Time. Uncle? Time to name it. Yep, no, go. Oh. oh not yet. I, I think they're winding down, so. <laughs> we'll have to wait for the next show. <laughs> okay. It's cool. We'll stay on track one of these days. Who the fuck am I going to happen? We're going to see Yeti break out his catch at Trebuchet. Shoot, yeah, shoot. He's just sitting, he's just sitting there flinging cat shit over his shoulder. <laughs> Or you're right. We're way past the cat shit of pulse at this point. Way, way past. <laughs> we're in the deep end of the pool now. All right. So I'm gonna test my. I'm gonna test my new Falcon atomizer here, with some pumpkin, with some Harvest Moon. Where can you get that swag. Harvest Moon? I got that at VapingSwag.com, the same place I got this sweet ass Yeti wire shirt. You mean the same place you can get this wicked Omageddon shirt? Oh man. I heard you can find out who the fuck Gizzard Stew is there. I heard that too. Well, I've been asking people for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you, can get, you can get turned on to the uh, hashtag Sport Life. 
Or as in my video I posted today, you can get that crazy wire over there. That made a spotlight in my video. Man, you can get a spool of crazy wire like that for a reasonable like ten dollars. For a very reasonable ten dollars. <laughs> the advertising is real. That's and right. If you, you buy, can free, you can get a free sampler of Harvest Moon if you buy if you buy uh, the sample pack. Oh, so just buy the rainbow and you get a free you get a free Harvest Moon. Stay fresh. Is that just a thirty mil? This is just a thirty mil. But if you, need, if you need more, Uncle, you can buy concentrate and make yourself some more. Ah, that's right. And they do come in these nice big board. chubby gorilla bottles. Mm. All right, chat. You heard him. Hashtag sellout. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> We have got to do a little uh, shameless promotion in here once in a while. Um, while I'm at it, um, <laughs> may as well go check out um, some AdoreLiquid.com, as you can see right about here, somewhere in this vicinity. Not so much over here, but more so <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> and check out that strawberry submission, as mentioned earlier by Moxley. Fuck yes, it's my favorite of Dawn's. I love strawberry submission. I've got to buy, buy some more. And and you can yeah, and you can vape a lead. If you think you can. <laughs> Has he only got one flavor out so far? Yes, and it's yes. glorious. Oh, yeah, it's I beyond agree. glorious. Like, I need to try some of both. Strawberry vapes weren't my thing, but that fucking thing, holy fuck. Okay, okay, so <laughs> compare, compare for me. How does it hold up, or is it a different type of vape to Dawn's strawberry submission? Uh, well, it is. It is one of Dawn's recipes. Mark. Okay. Um, yeah. It is not the same thing at all to the strawberry submission. Not at all. No. It's a strawberries with. It's like a strawberries and cream with uh, Nilla wafers. Yep. Okay, so it's more desserty, whereas like yeah. uh, Dawn's strawberry submission, I get like a lighter summer feel off it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yeah, definitely. Oh, can't oh. Later, Quinn. Later, Quinn. Good seeing you, brother. Later, brother. Um, oh, this, this is just my opinion. I think that the strawberry submission is more of like a lighter vape. It seems like the Elite's a little bit more of a heavier, a little denser of a vape. You know? Yes, I concur. It's good. It's, it's good. damn sure good. Man. It's a great morning or dessert vape. It's really good with coffee in the morning. You know what's really good with coffee? The blueberry something. Oh, yeah. I found that out. The bitterness of the coffee makes that blueberry just pop. It's crazy. Wow. Is that actually what she's named it? Blueberry something? Uh, that's the current name. Ah, all right. Okay. Yeah. But that might not necessarily be the marketed name. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to be sampling that as soon as we're out of here. I'm ready to go try that stuff. It was hard uh, to stay out of it today. It was really hard to stay out of it. You mean I think you should I think you should vape it while Don can possibly have an eye on you, Yunkle. Yes, well, I don't have any know. clean addies out here, it's the only problem. Put that oh, right over the top of the, the man with a million mechs does not have yeah, a clean addy. Bear with me, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I can sort this, I can sort it. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh it's fucking phenomenal. It, that blueberry something is just beyond good. So, wow. this thing, this while you're thing, there. Well, on this thing is madness. Madness. What's, what's that? It's the Falcon RDA by Vape Only. Okay. I haven't seen it's that. Well, it's crazy. I'm adjusting the airflow as we speak, trying to figure out what this flavor is going to do. And it is an RDA. Yeah, it's an RDA. It's tall as hell. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Is that just a quirky little piece at the top, or? It's a heat sink. It is a heat sink, right? It's a oh, little bit blurry for me, so I'm just yeah figuring out what I'm looking at. Cool. That's really intriguing. Falcon, eh? The Falcon. So does it fly? Um, thus far the flavor is uh not impressive. But like I said, I'm adjusting the airflow, and I just put in, uh, I just put in a five wrap tiger real quick to see what it'll do. 
good place to start. Wow, okay, so this is really weird swapping from this to this. Yes, there's a whole battery difference, but my god, is my hex like heavy by comparison. <laughs> it's gonna, this is going to be my new little ditty in my handbag, I think. Oh, actually, maybe not. I don't want to scratch it. Have a good night, Roro. Bye, Roro. Deuces. Talk have a good night. Um, Mox will have that package in the mail for you in no time. What's an R what's an R one fifty? It's all right. She, she Roro's actually sending me a package. So maybe she'll get the condoms printed and send them to me. <laughs> Hot Sig one fifty kinda looks like the E Fusions. Where they're nice and square. Some of them got the uh, the mother of pearl type coating or different panels on the side. I heard they're pretty decent. Never used. 65. Look at that. Nice. Turn this right into a cell site, right on right on my live show. I know. Right? <laughs> if I'd have known that, we could have auctioned that son of a bitch off here. Phenom and Big Lou's done that before on Fresh's show. It's true. <laughs> What's I your, mean, the second, the second, <laughs> is the the second DNA seventy five starts swapping. Oh, shit. Yeah, they were they were wheeling and dealing like madmen, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. Hey, fresh, how you doing? It's like, okay, cool, let's swap. <laughs> okay, now the business is taken care of. What's up, fresh? Yeah. What chip? What chip is? What chip does this use? Is this a Yeehe chip? Let's see here. I'm confused. What are they on about? Um, oh, the mod. Okay. I just I just clicked as that as that comment came out. Thank you, Dr. Timo. Uh, the mod that Mark took a shower with. Right. Now yes. I know what the hell you guys are on about. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's this woman that Mark took a shower. Does Angela know? <laughs> Was she there, like holding the camera? Did Ange film it? <laughs> Four other women. <laughs> uh oh, it's gonna be a long night for the Cubbies. Apparently, tarp in the field. Oh no! Yep. Shit. Okay, excuse my ignorance because I don't do sports. What is the game you're watching? Is it baseball, uh, game, soccer? Game seven, yeah, game seven of the World Series of baseball. Oh, baseball, right? Cool. Curling. This is the last. This is the this is the last game of the season. I don't know if I said curling. <laughs> See, New Zealand goes mental over rugby the way that you guys do over baseball. See, we, I think it's a big. I think it's a big misconception. Baseball really is not all that popular in the U.S. anymore. No, it's not. Really? Is it just a thing from the '80s and '90s? No, that's a thing from like the '50s and '60s. It's like the '50s, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, P Americans are Americans are crazy for American football. Football. Football, right? Well, that, yeah. that was just sort of a given, but like. If it's ridiculous how many, and yeah, available to the world, sure, but how many American movies that we get on our TV, not once we can download or access, but the ones that come on TV, there's predominantly, yeah, you get a good handful of football films, but there's so many fucking baseball ones. It's, well, it gives us that impression you guys are more obsessed with baseball than you are with football, but, you know, generalizing for a sport. It's it's still for some reason it's still considered the American pastime, although, like Fresh said, it's really not. It's it's football. It's more or less football. Yeah, baseball. Yeah, baseball and, still has it has a lot of fans. Um, I think yeah. I think that they mainly owe that to the fantasy aspect and the gambling aspect of it. Mm. But, um, you know it's. Man, they got that sucker covered fast. I mean, <laughs> it depends on where you're at in the states, depending on what sports are really big. Like, you go into New York City, that's baseball, fucking baseball, and it's all about the Yankees. Yeah, Yankees. It's like 
you know, a common term generalised in re referring to Americans is Yanks and Yankees, and I've always made that association. It's come from a baseball team. I heard about it so much growing up. The Yankees, the Yankees. I don't watch baseball, oh, yeah. so. Yeah. You, know, you, come to, you come to Iowa to visit, I'll take you out to Field of Dreams. It's still there. That whole <laughs> site is still there, and they're now starting up to let people tour the actual house that's in the in the background of the of the field. Oh wow! <laughs> yep. Here goes. Uh, Scanlon, I don't think so. I think there's too much. I think there's too much of a stereotype associated with NASCAR for it to truly really take over. Um, American fo American football, though, is that is when it's on, like, like I. The great part is like when the Seahawks are playing around here, like you can go out and get shit done because <laughs> everybody's in watching the game. It's cool. great. Like all the all the errands that I needed to run. And there was like, there was no way I was going to get it done because it was going to be too crowded. Just wait for the Seahawks to play. That's the same thing here in Green Bay. Like, the Packers start playing. Fucking town's a ghost town. The only thing you can hear is people screaming from their houses. Yeah. Is that a team that you support, TJ? That it is. Yeah, that's what I was looking at your hat. <laughs> I bleed green and gold. He bleeds. Well, you know, Bears fans don't know about bleeding because they've never given anything up to win anything. Hey, we beat the Vikings. Fair enough. <laughs> have yeah, that. What, what was up with the, what was up with the uh, old boy re resigning today? That was bizarre. North Turner resigning in the, like four or five games into the season. I'm guessing he did something kind of shady, and they gave him the uh, get the hell out or get fired. Well, I mean, their their offense has really struggled the last couple weeks, but I mean that's because you lost one of the best running backs in the game. So yeah. now we're really confusing Mox because now we've we've switched to American football talk. <laughs> oh shit! What's going oh, on? Oh, okay, you can clarify something for me. American football. Is it the same or slightly different to gridiron? They one and the same. Yes. Yep. One and the same. One and the same. Okay. Cool. Sweet. I've got uh, a few mates here that will talk about gridiron, and I was like, I'm not exactly sure which sport you're talking about. I assume it's football, but I've never actually just outright asked anyone. So cool. Cheers, guys. Gridiron. <laughs> G, have a good night. Have a good night, Giancarlo. Bye, buddy. See ya. All right, I'm going to have to put something. I'm, I'm going to have to put, like, a different build in this. Is that not doing it? A five-wrap tiger, I'm getting I'm getting zero flavor off of this thing. Wow. Even with the, even with the airflow, like, turned way down. It's... <clears throat> It is a possibility that it's the atomizer too. <laughs> Yunkel, Yunkel, because I got this for a review, now you're starting to see the beginning of the process. <laughs> like, okay, now we have to get now. Because I, the idea is, I if I can find a way to make it work, I'm gonna find a way to make it work. If it, if I can't find a way to make it work, then I'll say something bad about it. Right, right. So yeah, I'm you got it. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, but uh, I was just gonna say you got to do do everything you know in your power to to do to make it work and to make it get the decent vapor, the flavor that you need. You know, I, I get that. I, I totally get that. Yeah, it would just be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Either that or your other option: send it over to Eddie Tooney and have him blue it for you, so it is a blue falcon. I know the blue falcon RDA official. <laughs> Yeah, and it's only 22 millimeter. It's skinny. It's tall. Yeah. That juice well's nuts. I like that juice well though. I like the juice well on it. Um, and that, the airflow. The, the, it's not like there's that much airflow on the damn thing. There's two. There's two sets of those. Yeah. Is there four yeah. holes on that? Five. Four. Yeah. There's four. Four holes on it. But it's not like they're big holes. It's not like I'm getting crazy airflow off of it. <clears throat> 
I, bet, uh, I got it all opened up so you should be able to see. That's you got two sets of those. So it's not yeah. like the airflow's berserk. Even if that I mean, is that four each side or like eight total or just those four? Four per side. Four per side. That, Actually, um, I like the bit, I like the bit better when I opened it up. I bet the only thing that would possibly save that thing would be the placement of the coils with them being so high, so close to your mouth. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what the heat sink is supposed to be for. Yeah. But I mean, I'm vaping. I, I turned it down to 55 watts and I'm still getting quite a bit of heat off of it. Yeah. Since we're speaking of vapes, um, Yeti, have you gotten any of that blueberry yet? Yeah, yeah I've been vaping Don, Don, Don liked my idea that you should vape it while she can see you. <laughs> and you haven't said a word about it yet? Yeah, I said, here it goes. Y'all were just sitting there farting around like, oh, fuck Yeti. He's, he's nobody important. <laughs> hey, look at that. He does have a voice. <laughs> oh, my God. He speaks. I was, I was sitting here fucking just puffing away. I'm about to have to drip again. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your... Well, what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on it? It is. It's, it's fucking awesome. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right build for for it though because <clears throat> i'm not getting a whole lot of blueberry um i'm you know the battery's kind of dead on this too so it's not a very it's not a very good review i should say but the flavor is is it's typical dawn fashion it's fucking awesome uh as it stands i'm not getting a, a massive blueberry note now kick that wattage up you uncle well <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't have any battery i don't I don't have any fresh batteries out here. Put it on the stack, I Uncle. I, I know I suck. I, hey, okay, hang on. No, I can't because this is like a, a point one two build. Well, Probably would, would just, pop another coil. <laughs> just uh, drip it on your stack. Drip it on whatever you have on your stack. All right. Yeah, what's on the What's on the stack, you Uncle? Just vape it over the top. Uh, I think just this, put, oh, this is just strawberry. Put tons of it. Oh, it'll go good <laughs> over that. Just over drip the piss out of it. You'll be all right. <laughs> Pour it on. Just glob it on there. Yeah. yeah. We want to see the liquid shoot out the sides as you purge. That's right. <laughs> Sadistic <laughs> bastards. Getting little third degree <laughs> burns all over your hands. <laughs> Got little little lava burns on me. Looks like they are just about ready to go. Fuck. That's the case. Quick little rain came out. Oh, come on, let's get this in before this fucking has to go to tomorrow. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm 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 always impressed with baseball ground crews though, because they are just machines when it comes to when it comes to this. Yeah. Like they'll get that they'll get that field covered up in 45 seconds easy. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many times they have to practice that during the off season. They do not. I, I guarantee they do nothing but that and mow the lawns. I like it when you see the guy, the one guy fall and he gets wrapped up underneath it, and they just keep going. Yes, that's the best. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy and just keep so on moving. So, what, what are they doing to the field? They covered it. They covered it up because there was a massive rainstorm that rolled through. Oh, okay. So, like, literally covering the grass to keep it dry. No, they're co they cover the they cover the infield, uh, where the where people are running the baseline. Oh, yep. Yeah, they cover they cover that up so that it doesn't get muddy and it doesn't get sloppy because it's nothing but dirt. So is that just like a tarpaulin? It's a big diamond shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to rethink the build on this. How long it is do you even use it before you do the actual review publicly? About two weeks usually is about how long I run through an RDA. Because I try first, I usually first I try and destroy it. Like I, I go super sub ohm with it. Like I'll drop it down to like a .08 or something and see what I can do with it. Um, this one, this one, because I'm on a show and I just happened to pull it out of the sink and get it all. Uh, 
I'm, I'm trying to figure out what TJ's doing. Um, <laughs> I'm just I haven't pulled out of the sink. And after I pulled out of the sink and I dr I dried it off, I just threw a point two in there real quick to see what it would do. Um, just to get that initial thought process on it. But I will go through probably fifteen or twenty different builds, depending, trying to figure out what'll work and what won't. Hmm. Between single coils and dual coil, and trying to trying to make the atomizer work as best I can. And uh, switch the wicking up if I can't get that to work, and then Leaf is nodding. He knows the he knows the pain of re of reviewing an RDA. Yeah. Well, the reason why I ask is because you guys, as reviewers, um, and I'm generalizing across the board, but I've noticed everyone has the, their own little technique, their own little regime that they'll do this process in. Um, like I think Marks is like a week, um, and yeah, you said a couple of weeks. Uh, I know people that are. You know, go hard on it for just a few days before they put out their public review. So it's it's cool hearing that not everybody across the board is just giving it the same short term splat before they give a public opinion. So that's awesome. Yeah, no, I I I I, I that may be why I don't get a lot of products in, um, because I do take a while to get a review out. Um, like I, I put the, I've been putting the, the combo through its paces, so I gotta, I gotta review the combo here pretty shortly. But um, I finally got, I finally got what I think works, and it's dual, it's dual stainless Clapton's, and it just, it w that build works with whatever mode you have it in. Um, right around, right around point two, you get great flavor off of it. The wicking's able to keep up, you know. So I think I still think that I should do a limitless plus versus the uh, combo review. I think I that's. Agree. I think yes. that'll get more. I think that'll get more views than just a straight up iJoy combo review. Yeah, so, I think that'd yeah. be a good one as well. I agree. So fresh, are you trying to say you're trying to tell us that a good reviewer doesn't just get it in the mail, open it, check it out, and then throw up a video? Uh, some people do that style. I'm not. I will not insult them one way or the other about it. Yeah. I know how I like to review. I like to. I like to beat the shit out of a product uh, before I will say anything about it. There's very, there's very few part. There's very few products that I spent anything less than a week with. Um, I know the the product I probably spent the least amount of time with was the Goliath. Um, because I ha I only had the Goliath like three days, but by that point I was I was well aware of it. Just messing with the Goblin, it was it was a kind of a similar build. It, you would just have bigger juice capacity and a little bit bigger build deck. Yeah. So at that point at that point I was well aware of what it what it was. Um, like the combo, I could have done I could have done the same thing with the combo. I could have done it in probably three days and been comfortable with what I was saying about it. But I wasn't getting quite the flavor that I wanted off of it. Compared to, compared to my to the limitless plus, so I, I had to find a I had to find a way to get equivalent flavor off of it, and so I had to mess with the build, I had to mess with the wicking, and then when I dropped it down to RDA mode, I had to I had to be able to keep that, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to keep that no matter what mode I was switching into. Yep. So it took me a little bit longer than I liked, and it, it uh, I probably took a little bit longer than the person who sent it to me liked, but. It, that's, well, that's how I go. You know, yeah. honestly, I, I agree. Um, personally, um, you know, because I, I get a lot of crap in too. You know, I just, I, and even just building it with, you know, just how I do. You know, I'm not under any pressure to build them and run them through their courses. But mm -hmm. a lot of times you can't just throw a single build in and fire it up and you're good to go. A lot, yeah. I mean, sometimes, you, sometimes you're lucky. You know, sometimes yeah. you are. But a lot of times, you you really got to figure out like if it's not a standard just typical you know build deck you know typical airflow if it's something new or a little bit different than what you're used to you know you got to play with it you got to work with it and kind of find out find its nuances especially if it's like a device you know like a that's got a chip or something you know like a you know regulated device or something you got to figure out the quirks and all that jazz I just don't think even for an RDA a simple RDA review. I don't think you can just open the package up and say, you know, here you go, this is what it is. I mean, yeah, you could probably say the specs, 
but you couldn't give an honest, actual technical review. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. I, I don't think. Yeah, and the only thing I feel that you probably could get away with less than a week or at a week is like a sub ohm tank. Oh yeah. They only send you two different coils, and you know, you if they send you two atomizers, two different style coils, and you rotate through them for a week, and you just you just hammer on them hard and see how quick the coils can gunk up and go, and if you're getting good taste out of it you know, there's nothing going to be different with a different coil that you throw in there versus it's a total different game than the RDAs. But, you know, yeah. a sub ohm tank is, you know, you've had the TFV8, you had the TFV4, you've had, you know, the crown. You put those coils in, hammer on them. If they're giving good flavor, then you can say they're giving good flavor. You can see how long they last and, you well, know, see, I always they, try to have a coil too, though. That's what I like to do. Like, I like to try and kill a coil off a sub ohm tank. Yeah. This is yep. the only device that made me tap out. This right here, the T18, <laughs> this is the only device that made me tap out. It was like a month. And I, th I think uh, Inakin Dwayne was, was just fuming, just steamed that I had had it for as long as I had. I'm vaping, <laughs> on, I'm vaping on it every day, and I could not get this stupid thing to burn a coil out of it. I think, I think, like, I think like a week afterwards, I finally started getting a little bit of a burnt flavor, and I called that good enough and threw another coil in. I was like, I was like, this this motherfucker <laughs> cannot kill this. <laughs> oh, fucking glorious! Wouldn't you can find something like that where it's going to last you that long, and you can just try to beat the piss out of it, then you know you found the right good products to pass that's, along to everyone. That's why I still say I still like if people are looking for a stop smoking. Like my entry level, I still point at the T18 and the T22, right? Mm -hmm. T22, yeah. yeah. I still point at those because I know you're going to get life out of those coils. And you know, mm -hmm. somebody who's somebody who's new, you don't want them switching coils all the time. Um, yeah. Like the Nautilus, you can get a good month out of a Nautilus coil if you're not, you know, if you're not, if you're if you're not hitting it hard. You know, you're if you're hitting it at like 12, 15 watts. You can get a you can get a month out of those things easy. Yeah. Um, so I'll I'll tell people to go get like Nautilus Mini all the time, but a T eighteen, like like I said, I I chain bake that thing, sitting on my couch trying to kill the thing, and I think Inakin Dwayne was was mad was really mad that I was taking as long as I was, but I told him, I want to, I want to kill a coil. I want to kill a coil on this stupid thing, and I could yeah. not do it. Yep. <laughs> Could not do it in a month, and finally I just shot a review for it. But the other, like a, like the the like the um, like the TFV four. You know, I was able to I was able to kill a coil within a week, within two weeks. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, sub ohm tanks. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to tell you, hey, I hit this thing hard for two weeks, and the coil the coil finally the the coil finally crapped out on me. That's the type of that's the type of thing I want to tell people is you know this is kind of what you can expect out of it. Yeah. Well, you know, back to what back to what Ray was saying. Sorry, Ray, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say this is the same thing. You know, Fresh and I are in the same boat. We have a budget when we come to vape. Uh, it's probably like the whole panel does. You know, you want to know by looking at a couple of reviewers. Is this going to be a wise investment? How much are the coils going to cost, and how long can I keep them up? You know, exactly. because if you're going to be spending every three days replacing a coil, and if you have to go to brick and mortar because you ran out and pay five bucks a coil, that's not going to be beneficial to you. Right. That's not. That's not a good investment. No. Yeah. Absolutely. And the other. The other one that I always suggest as well for a starter is that AIO, um, just because it uses the uh, Cubis coils. And if they buy a pack of Cubis coils and they decide after a couple weeks that it's just not enough, they could always go right up to the, the Cubis uh, full-size tank with a higher wattage mod, and they yeah. could still use those same coils. Right. Yeah, the AI, the AI, the AIO is a great device as well. 
It's a good Real little segue nice. device. Um, the sub bod. Just because uh, sub sub tank coils are they're not cheap, but they're on the cheaper side of coils. Um, the sub bod's a good device too, because then you then you have a sub then you have a sub tank nano, and you can yeah. take it off the sub bod and put it on something and crank it up to you know 35, 40 watts, something like that, and you're getting a completely different vape than you were off the sub bod. Yeah. So it's a it's yeah. a it, and the sub the, the sub tank to this day is a great little tank, so. I came across a new device the other day. It's an AIO box. Have you guys yes. seen that one? Yeah. yeah. So um, Cole, my flatmate out in the house bus, um, he's the one with the digerit, and they have changed their company. They have gone um, wholesale only to retail distributors only. So we can't get Cole any more digerits um, or cartridges rather. So we went hunting for a new device and it's a new one out and it was being talked about in our local vape groups here. And he was like, can I function one of them? And I just looked at him um, he's actually having cataract surgery really soon on his one eye he has vision in. So hopefully he'll actually be able to function a device properly with better vision. And uh, I was like, we can only give it a go and, and find out. So he got an AIO in there. Um, it's tiny. Like, it, it's not even as big as this. Like, I couldn't believe how small it is. It's like this little thing. And it, it's, yeah, it's so little compact. It's even half the size of his Digirex. And mm -hmm. it holds two mil of juice. And yeah, and it has lines all over it where Max Bill and all those things, stuff he can see, which is great, you know, really basic user friendly. And um, uh, he's only had it maybe three days now. So we're still seeing how things are going in regard to maintenance, changing coils and things. We bought a whole lot at the same time, so we've got bits and pieces ready to go for him. But, um, it's a really little cute conversion device or even just a stealth vape. Um, yeah. I was really impressed with the flavor he was getting off it, the cloud production, although it's not about vapor when you know, you're know you buying a device like that, but it still gave an impressive cloud for what it was. I think there are uh, point, point 0.6 um, RTC coils in it. And exactly. yeah, it's so cute. He just got a little black one. Um, and, it's like smaller than my cell phone, even. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can, it's a really cool device, and I think that is going to be a new type of, or, although not a new type of device with the tank on the internal, but I think it'll be a new um, device out that'll take off because of its compact with that internalness, and it's not a squonk and all of those bits and pieces. I think that's a, a device to keep an eye on, eh? And what's really nice about that is... Um, you know how it's got the childproof top when you take the coils in that? Um, look for the little dots there. Yes. And if you move it to 90 degrees off of that dot, um, that will be the maximum airflow, and he can tighten it up by taking it closer to the dot. Yeah, he's he's got it on full airflow. It was the first thing he did. He's like... <laughs> I figure out his drawer, and it was really cute. I was like, I'm playing with this little thing, and it was just so little in his mouth. And I don't know, it was funny. It was cute, but yeah, no, it's it's got that awesome feature with that child um, safety locking on the top of the cat. It was great. Yep. So, um, I was just saying, seven six cubbies, loaded bases. How long does the game usually run for? Months. Uh, in baseball, as long as it takes. <laughs> yeah, that's a game where it just goes until it's over with. It goes yeah, until no, there's, been, there's been games. There's been like eight-hour games. Yeah. It's like it's like cricket, like three-day cricket games. Yeah. Baseball, baseball, in theory, could do shit like that. Oh my god, New Zealand yeah, has five-day cricket matches. Oof. Yeah, I, I, cricket's also another one that New Zealand's uh, internationally known for, and I played cricket at school, and yeah, no thanks. 
Were you the Balls bowler? coming at me at 100 miles an hour, no thanks. Yeah, I will always be the bowler. I will be the one throwing balls at you. I don't even try and hit it or catch it. I'll, I'll just throw it at you. <laughs> yeah, I'd so, have to be the bowler. Well, I hate to cut this short. Well, I'm not really cutting it short. It's usually 11.30 Central Time is about the time I cut her down. And I do think it is time to wind it up here. We've been here for approximately two hours now and to me to be honest it's been a phenomenal show i've been thoroughly enjoying it all and for everyone who's managed to stay this long kudos to you because holy shit it's amazing that somebody actually sticks around and listens to me talk for two hours along with everybody else who i've got here um, get a golf club uh, that's about it i'm lucky if i get one of those um <laughs> i think so. it's appropriate for your channel name We can go that route. Um, <laughs> so what I'd like to do is go ahead and I'll just start going around the room. And I'm just going to go from my left. So um, guess who's first? Yeti. You're up, buddy. <laughs> you <I'm> always up. <laughs> um, I'll, yeah, I, thanks, everybody, for, for coming out. I appreciate it. It was, it was cool. We had a great time. Everybody in the chat, everybody watching later. Thank you. Um, I'm Yeti's uncle. <laughs> I am uh, the chief instigator at uh, YetiWire.com. So feel free to slide over there and check out some of the stuff. We have alien coils that will diddle your taste buds. Isn't that right, Fresh? That's absolutely correct. <laughs> um, also, try to go check out Tommy's show this Friday. Um, check out Fresh's show before Tommy's show. He's got a special guest and a really kick-ass special guest i'll save that for him uh on tommy's show he's going to have a, a pretty a rather large panel he's going to have uh fresh o3 um big lou trevor jones huh. and oh shit <laughs> help me out fresh Who's oh shit i haven't heard oh shit before uh, babes. Babes. yeah sorry oh man i dropped the ball on that sorry tommy and Dean from Coil Bates. So it'll be a good time Friday. And, and thank Yeti's you for uncle. having me. Yeah, I, I might be there. <laughs> he he might be there. Your thank you for having me, there. DJ. You might be there with that panel. You might be, Uncle. <laughs> uncle, as always, always a pleasure having you. Yes, do go out and get yourself some Yeti wire. There's a link in the description below. I'll go out there and um, do it to it. Those. Yalians will diddle the taste buds. That's for sure. <laughs> um, They'll do unearthly things to your taste buds. Yeah, I'm <laughs> actually just rocking a single Yalian right in the Limitless Plus, and it does the job phenomenally. I got dual Yalians. Ooh, he's really diddling the taste buds. I can't get enough diddling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had a stage uh, alien alien in mine earlier. I had to pull it out there. It's a little warm. A little, little hot there? Just a little bit? Yeah, a little, little, a little warm for the for what it was in. <laughs> um, moving right down the line here. Special guest for the evening. Um, Moxley, the floor is yours. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate having the special guest on as always. And thank you for showing up. Thank you for having me, TJ. Uh, love you guys, always. Um, those that might not know, uh, I was on one of my first appearances here on TJ's channel. So, um, yeah, always love coming and hanging out with, with the crew and uh, love you guys for coming and supporting us and hanging out with us. Uh, if you didn't know who I am, I'm Moxley. Um, you guys can find me over on on my channel uh sunday nights um overseas it's monday here in new zealand uh 10 p.m central 11 eastern and um yeah i'm everywhere i'm out there instagram facebook you you want to find me you'll find me and yeah just always a pleasure guys love seeing you all um it's it's always great to come and hang especially when i get live bait mail so um <laughs> yeah wicked uh, I will come on anytime you guys want to have me. So, big gloves to you, TJ. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. More than more than welcome. Anytime you'd like to come on the show, 
drop us the link, let us know. We're more than more than willing to bring you back on. Always good time, especially when we're getting uh, to speak with everyone from not just stateside, but when we're speaking with the rest of the world there. Always makes it worthwhile, especially to know what's going on in your guys' neck of the woods. Moving on right down the line there. Oh, we've got Ray uh, from LIFA Vapes, Leafa Vapes, Lifa, whatever you want to call him. Um, you can call him a shithead because he's a Bears fan. It won't hurt his feelings. He's used to it. Ray, the floor is yours. Just don't call me late for supper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Leaf of Vapes, uh, my channel out there, I just dropped a video today. If you got a good 30 minutes to just watch me spin a coil using the Daedalus, it's fun time. Uh, you know, I don't usually get up and close on a device, but uh, my new cell phone has an awesome camera that does 1080, 60 frames a second, and it looked great today. So <clears throat> check that out. Um, do your advocacy. Uh, call up your representative. Tell them to get on board with Cole Bishop and get that into the bill. Do not vote it out of the bill. Um, you know, it takes five minutes of your time to give them a call. Give them your message. It gets to your representative. So give that a shot. Um, other than that, back to you, TJ. <laughs> Check it away, TJ. <laughs> and we're back to the news desk. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. I appreciate it. There's a link down to his channel in the description below. I'll have to uh, drop a link for a Moxis channel down here in the description as well here. Make sure you guys have links to that as well. I do try to keep anybody who shows up a link for their channel or what they're doing. Um, so make sure we put one out there for Mox as well. Um, moving on right down the line here. Um, last but certainly not least, as I say every week, the guy who got me to vape, um, good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Fresh 3 the show is yours. All right, what is happening, everybody? I'm Fresh 3 I do live shows every Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday night, we are going to have Big Lou, B, Big Lou East Coast Reviews on show prior to Tommy's show, and then I will be, me and Lou will roll over to Tommy's show, and we're going to hang out with uh, Trevor Jones and Dean from Coil Vapes, and I heard the we might let a Yeti in the building. Uh, I'm still not sure about that. Uh, I'm not in charge of that one, so I'm glad I don't have to clean up after the Yetis. Uh, right now, it is the top of the 10th. The Cubs are leading 8-6. to six. Make sure you check out uh, Adore Liquid, adoreliquid.com. Make sure you roll over to Vaping Swag. Get yourself some sweet-ass shirts. Some sweet shirts and some awesome e-liquid. I re I'm really digging on the on the Harvest Moon. The Harvest Moon is delicious. Make sure you go check out Coil Vapes. Use the coupon code FRESHO3. Get five bucks off of every product that you buy. FRESHO3. Uh, did I say a Dory Liquid? Get a Dory Liquid. Everybody should be getting a Dory Liquid. You can get yourself some Elite. Some of that Elite e-liquid. Um, did I forget anybody? Hit that juice. Hit that juice.com. Uh, go over support Mike Vapes. He really is one of the best people that we have in the community. He's driven. He's focused. Uh, and he's always doing things for all of us. He's a, he's a fantastic guy. He deserves your support. Go support Mike Vapes. Uh, he gives, as far as I'm aware, and I'm still convinced that he gives all the money from the Hit That Juice line over to advocacy. I don't think he keeps any of it. So he won't tell you that. I'll tell you that. Um, everybody be beautiful to each other. Uh, that's all I've got on sports. TJ, back to you. And I'm back. Oh, thank, thanks, sir. Uh, to the entire panel, to include my brother who is not here, thank you all. Um, do appreciate you all showing up as usual. Uh, Permit wasn't able to make it tonight. He did have a prior engagement. I know that because he did uh, shoot me a message earlier. Uh, he will be back again, though, one of these days. Between um, working on six-month-long podcasts and other podcasts and helping out Don over at Adore Liquids website, getting that all taken care of and squared away. He's one busy individual. Glad to have had him back last week. There is also a link for his um, podcast for both the YouTube channel and on SoundCloud. The only link that I have not put out there that I do need to for him 
would be he is also on iTunes on their podcast as well. I think everything has pretty much been touched on tonight. Um, Giz couldn't be with us again because he is on his um, mountain climbing adventure. Uh, hiatus. So, hiatus. A uh, little YouTube hiatus. Good for everyone. So, Giz, as soon as you come back, uh, we'll definitely have a little uh, special night for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss you, Gizzard Stew. That will only be as long as you don't show your feet. You show your feet, game's over. Um, and on, on a more serious note, though, Giz, see you soon. Whenever you get back, shoot me a message. Let me know. So that way make sure I get you on the show. I'll uh, keep sending you links even though you're not here. Uh, Love you, brother. <clears throat> already touched on it, adoreliquid.com. You guys all know where to go. Go get you some of that wonderful, wonderful liquid that's coming out of there. Also, if you need to know a guy, we know a guy. There's a link down in the description for Omegadden liquid as well. That uh, would go directly to Omegadden at Gmail. Hit him up. Um, I think Greg said it best earlier. Let Fat Tony know that we have the Bali saw. That's right. Um, <clears throat> Hashtag Ducky has a knife. That's it. <laughs> 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 totally threw me there. That's all right. Totally worth it. Um, also, vaping swag. Go get your awesome shirts there. Some crazy wire. Don't forget, get that entire rainbow line in the sampler pack, and you get a free 15 mil of the what? Harvest Moon for free? Get the fuck out. I know, right? It's a steal. <laughs> You're stealing from Shane from vaping swag. He's stealing giving it away over there. Do your part to educate. Advocate, do the right things, not only for us, but for those that come behind us, because it's not always about yourself. It's about those of us who come behind. I was that person at one point. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Fresh. So therefore, (laughs) you need to do your part, because guess what? There's going to be that next guy in line that you want to have this opportunity to save their life. So do your part. Call your congressman. Write them letters. Tell them if they don't do what you're going to ask them to, you'll vote somebody else in. And guess what? It's that time of year where we vote. This is the perfect time to get on their case about this stuff. So get out there and do so. Create them with this information. Make sure that they understand exactly what you want done, why you're supporting the Cole Bishop Amendment, why you want them to do all of these things proactively for us to make sure that this community stays whole, and moving in the right direction. Because it's not just for us, it's for everyone else that comes behind us. We're each just one of that billion lives. Speaking of billion lives, support the Billion Lives movie. Get on their email list, Um, go out and buy a ticket, get it sent in your area. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. They've been selling out multiple theaters already that they're gonna be showing in. I think the numbers that I saw was (laughs) over 20 just states died, and they even had a little thing where people were actually scalping tickets for them, selling them at 300% face value. That's fucking awesome. And whoever you are that are buying those scalped tickets at 300% value, more power to you. Well worth your time. On that, I think I've hit about everything I can think to hit tonight. I don't want to ramble on and keep you guys here any longer than you want to be. I mean, We've dwindled down from the 40s to into the 22s. Oh, Fresh says hello. <laughs> she says hello for everybody out there who's been here. All right. Anyhow, my name's TJ. As always, you're watching Golf T Vapes on Wednesday night. I will see you next week. Um, Mox, since you're the special guest, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take us out. Would you like to take us out tonight? Sure. I can take you guys out. Um, be good to one another, vape on, keep it real, and uh, yeah, inform, educate, advocate. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.